ब्रीफ डिस्कशन ऑन लेवरेज एंड रिस्क बिजनेस रिस्क एंड फाइनेंशियल रिस्क बिजनेस रिस्क रेफर्स टू ऑल द हैजर्ड्स इनहेरेंट इन द बिजनेस दैट इज द ऑपरेटिंग रिस्क the degree of operating leverage is supposed to be an index of the operating risk and you are uh, you understand that this operating risk when i say it is the environment of the business and sometimes not within our control right uh, so 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 how does the ebit change because of the result of the environment in which the firm firm operates the firm the industry or the economy now some factors like for example if i say a steel mill has to have investment in the plant and equipment so they will have certain fixed costs right the depreciation heavy heavy plant and machinery could result in a lot of fixed costs so this is something over which over which we may have you no know, control this is a reflection and indicator partly of the of the business risk <clears throat> the financial risk on the other hand that is the that is that is that is uh, represented by the degree of financial leverage is our choice we can decide whether to borrow or not to borrow the the, the manager decides whether to borrow or not to borrow right so financial risk can be controllable that is the finance manager can determine the proportion of borrowed funds now the total firm is the business risk plus the financial risk usually if the degree of leverage is high finance managers tend to keep the degree of financial leverage low so that the overall combined leverage is not too high you get me if the degree of operating leverage is high now because over this factor we may not have much choice finance managers will try to keep the degree of financial leverage low so that they have a, 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 a reasonable a healthy exposure to risk a healthy a healthy total combined leverage degree of total leverage leverage if you take is contribution by ebt or percent change in eps by the percent change in sales so the total leverage is the change in the earnings of the shareholders a shareholders due to a change in sales this is how it's me measured like i mentioned before we have not covered this but this is the degree of total leverage so 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 uh, the a firm's risk may consist of a business risk and a financial risk to some extent we can say the degree of operating leverage represents the business risk and the financial risk is the dlp the degree of financial leverage. together you get the total total leverage degree of total leverage here yeah. so 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 maybe i could make a chart like this look at this if you have a very high degree of operating leverage and a high degree of financial leverage then it is very risky indicates a high business and financial risk a small change in sales could affect the earnings of shareholders etc if you have a high degree of operating leverage again i repeat this part of it the high operating leverage may not be by choice sometimes right it may depend upon the nature of the industry then if we may have a low dfl that is extremely prudent that is extremely prudent because the degree of operating leverage is immense uh, because because uh, this is uncontrollable it is high and we have wisely restricted our our other risk by with a low dfl if you have a low degree of operating leverage and you combine it with a degree with a with a with a low degree of financial leverage then you can very conservative and restricting your profits right on the other hand if you have a low degree of operating leverage you could go ahead and have a higher degree of financial leverage so that so that the, the shareholders returns can be maximized this would be the best situation but like i said this may not be by choice the degree of operating leverage may not be by choice it's just a brief for a brief for understanding of how our leverage is a measure of the risk that the business is exposed to 
Another ratio which is sometimes computed is called the financial leverage ratio, which is assets by equity. If the total assets are 1 million and equity is uh, 200,000, then um, what does it mean to do? Assets are 500, it's 5, which means, which means that, which means what students? A large chunk, right, right, a large chunk of the, um, of the assets, of the assets is financed by debt, right? If you, if you, can I say, if I take 100 and divide it by 5, 5, I get 20%, indicating that 20% of the assets are, 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 are financed by equity balance, 80% is financed by debt. But on the other hand, other hand, if I take, uh, say, equity is 500,000, then the financial leverage ratio is lower to indicating that 50% of the assets is, is um, financed by uh, equity. Okay. FLR2 suggests that the assets are financed equally by debt and equity. Higher than 2 is very highly leveraged as reflected in the degree of financial leverage. I repeat, this is, uh, if you take this as 100 by 5, I get 20% is financed by equity. If I take 100 by 2, I say 50% is financed by equity. So it's half and half, which is fair. If it's greater than half, then there could be an element of risk. It may be a little more 